finally a radio that fits into a Harley Davidson touring bike with no modifications. This is Soundstream's HD HU14 Plus, which is a plug and play solution head unit with a seven inch LCD monitor that will give you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other great features. So if you have a Harley 2014 or newer, you're gonna wanna stay with us. Hey, I'm Josh with Breaker Stereo and Performance, and during this video review, we'll go over the features this radio has to offer. We'll also go over the bikes it'll work with, and we'll do an unboxing with a full demonstration. But before we go further, let's talk about brand. Now, the Soundstream brand is not normally known to produce high quality units that are equivalent to names like Alpine, Pioneer, JVC Kenwood, and Sony. Now, most Soundstream head units are less expensive, lower quality units designed for folks that don't want to lay down a lot of money for a radio. But Epsilon, which is responsible for producing brands like PPI, Power Acoustic, and Soundstream, spent the money and designed these radios for these bikes to be high quality and solid. They use high quality parts and audio components that make this radio not only sound great, but reliable and durable. And I can say that this radio is as good as it gets than some of the name brand radios. Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but it's not only us that think highly of these head units. Other channels that have reviewed this radio think the same thing. Okay, let's move on. Since the introduction of these radios on the Touring Harleys in 2014, we've really only had two options when installing systems in them. One, leaving the factory radio, but if you're adding amps, you'll need to flash the factory radio to flatten out the EQ curve. Now we'll take a look at the frequency responses of the factory radio. As you can see, we have a boost at about 80 hertz, and then you have boosts that start at about 1000 hertz and progressively increase as it goes into the higher frequencies. Now that's fine if you're running low quality speakers with not much power behind them because the EQ will compensate for those low quality speakers. The problem with that is if you upgrade your system with speakers and an amplifier, the high end equipment will naturally play those frequencies and there will be no need to compensate with an equalizer. And boosting some of those frequencies will cause distortion, especially at higher volumes. Not to say you shouldn't use an EQ to adjust your sound, because you can, but using a tune that's not right for the new equipment will limit the potential of it. So having to flash the sock stereo with some special equipment or buying a module that will flatten the EQ, like the one made by Kicker, is one solution we've used in the past. Now, as of the recording of this video, Metra's Saddle Trap line has released a couple solutions that will not only flatten the EQ curve, but will also allow you to adjust the EQ as well. We did a video at last year's SEMA event going over that, so for more information, check that out. And the other solution was to change the radio out to the Sony XAV-AX7000, which is the only radio on the market that uses that reverse chassis design. Now this is a good solution, but it's a little on the expensive side once you add in all the adapters needed for installation and not to mention the installation will take you much longer to do. We also found that this radio actually sounds better than the Sony, which is pretty surprising because the Sony is a good sounding stereo. Not to mention that this radio is weatherproof, where the Sony has only seal buttons, which can withstand some water on the face, but is not weatherproof. So this radio is made specifically for 2014 Harley-Davidson touring bikes and will drop in easily and is plug and play. Now the bikes that this radio will work in are gonna be the 2014 to 2021 Harley-Davidson Electro Glide, Road Glide, and Street Glide. Now there are some restrictions you should know about. If you have the factory boom system, it will not retain it. But if you're changing out the amplifiers and speakers, not a problem. If you have Sirius XM, it will not retain that tuner, but you can simply download the Sirius XM app on your phone and you'll have full access through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. If your radio displays vehicle information, this radio will not allow that to transfer over. But Soundstream is releasing a new radio that will allow those features to play through using the Maestro RR piece that will be sold separately. Plus, it will be Sirius XM ready and will include handlebar control module built in. Now, the release date is in about a month or so. 
Okay, but let's talk about the features that this radio has. Full plug and play using the factory mounting points. Bluetooth for audio and phone calls, and it actually comes with a Bluetooth mic. Now, I'm not sure how usable that is when you're riding down the road, especially at higher speeds. This does have a four volt front, rear, and subwoofer output with a 10 band graphic equalizer and is 50 watts times four. Also, it's two ohm stable, so if you're running off the power of the radio, you can wire up some two ohm speakers and it won't cut out. This radio is marine radiant at IPX6, which means it can resist high pressure and heavy sprays of water. Now the monitor has an optical bonded display that reduces the sunlight glare, so it's easy to see on those nice sunny days. And finally, this radio is handlebar control interface ready. Now the LP HDINT is required. Okay, time for the unboxing. All right, so we have our installation manual here are the harnesses, our main harness here, okay? And then you also have some plugs here we'll go over here in a minute. And then you have your Bluetooth mic. And for the handlebar controls, you are gonna need this piece that is sold separately. All right, so there's your handlebar controls here and then you have your, basically your harness here that's gonna plug directly into your bike. All right, let's take a look at the screen and the radio itself. All right, so the build quality on this radio is pretty good. So as you can see, it looks very similar to your Harley radio. So you have the same mounting points that we talked about here, here, we talked about earlier. Okay, on the face of the radio, we have your volume up and down here. This is your home button. You have mute. Also, you have your power button. This activates the microphone. And then you have a quick button that'll take you to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And on the back, we have your main harness. Now we'll plug into here. This is a nice secure plug-in as well, which is good. So that's gonna lock in there and that's not coming loose. All right, so this is the factory USB connector here. So you will be able to use your factory USB port. This is the factory antenna port. You have your front, rear, and sub RCA. Again, these are four volt pre-out. And then you do have your microphone input here for Bluetooth. Okay, so this is our home screen. It's nice and bright, it's got lots of color here. On the left, you have your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. So if you touch those, that'll take you directly to those, depending on what phone you have plugged in. So right now, nothing's plugged in, so these options are dimmed. But when you plug in your phone, they will light up bright. You have radio, USB, so if you got music on your USB, there is only a single USB on this. It uses the factory one, as we mentioned earlier. So you won't be able to have a USB thumb drive plugged in with music and do Apple CarPlay or Android Auto at the same time, because there's only one. Then you have your Bluetooth here for your music and then your phone calls. And on the buttons on the side here, you have your home, you have your volume up and down. You have a quick button that goes to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have the microphone button, which will activate either Siri or Google. Then you have the on button, also a mute button as well. So this doubles as a power button and a mute button. If you tap it once, that's your mute. If you hold it down, that's gonna be your power. This is your radio display, pretty simple. Presets here on the bottom, you can tune back and forth here. And then you have AM, FM. All right. You tap that button, that'll take you to the equalizer. This is your 10 band graphic EQ and you can adjust here just by touching, moving up and down if you like. It does not do it where you can move your finger across, but that's okay. You have some presets here as well. Soft rock, pop, electric, jazz, and then custom. So here you have your setup. And this screen reminds me of the JVC Kenwood setup. I'm not saying that it is, but it definitely reminds me of that. So you have system settings. You can go into language, your date, key beep, on or off factory reset, and then about. And about's gonna give you the version that's running and you can update from this screen as well. Display settings. Here you have your light detection. So this will sense if it's daytime or nighttime, and then you can adjust the daytime settings and the nighttime settings as well. Illumination. Okay, and from here you can choose the color that you would like. And then if you select this as off, what you're able to do is select the color that you like. Okay, so you get a couple different colors that you can choose from. All right, and if you just set it as on, then what happens is it will rotate different colors. Wallpaper, so you have some preset wallpaper here. You can download here on the USB. Images if you like. A lot of guys like to put the Harley logo in the background, that's pretty slick. Next we have audio and EQ settings. All right, so you have your balance and fade, subwoofer output, on or off. And then there is a subwoofer filter that ranges from 160 down to 50. 
and then a subwoofer level. Uh, the EQ we went over already, and then you have loud either on or off. Okay, now there is no high pass filters on this radio, just so you know. And then finally you have your Bluetooth settings and that's gonna give you your connection, phones are paired to them, and so on. Now we're not gonna be able to go over Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Most of you guys already know how those features work. The reason why we can't do that is because I don't have the factory Harley cable for the USB. But again, you will use your existing USB cable that's already in your bike to use those features. Okay, pros and cons. Pros, very easy installation that plugs and plays and uses the factory mounting points. 10 band EQ, also six channel, four volt pre-out. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and also the optical bonded marine display. Cons, handlebar control sold separately, now, no wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, but most guys don't mind plugging in the phone and sticking it in that compartment. This radio won't transfer over vehicle information, but the upgraded model with the Maestro RR piece will. Now, this radio is easy to install and not to mention is a great sounding head unit. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto tops the list of great features. Changing your radio to this solves the factory EQ curve if you're building a system. This radio is a must if you want to create a clean, loud stereo for your Harley. If you're interested in purchasing this radio, we will leave a link in the description below. Remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. For all you auto enthusiasts out there, look to us for all your aftermarket auto part needs, stereo, suspension, truck accessories, and more, because life is too short to drive stock. Okay, that'll wrap it up. My name is Josh, I'm with Breakers Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video. Peace.